Hi, my name is Amar. In this video, I will discuss about confetti animation in Flutter using GetX. As you can see in the output, if I click on this button, then the confetti animation is started. And once I click on the stop button, then the animation is stopped. To do this, I have created this project by using the Get CLI tool. And after creating the project in the pubspec.yml file, I have taken this dependency, right? Now, in the home view, you can see that I have taken a uh, stack widget in the stack widget in the children i have taken a scaffold widget and in the scaffold widget in the body i have taken a center widget there i have taken an elevated button having the text as play okay now in the home controller here i will create a variable named as is playing And I will initialize it with the value false and I will make it reactive with the help of dot OBS right after that here I will create the instance of confetti controller which is provided by the plugin which we have taken in the pubspec.yml file in the on in it I will write confetti controller equals to confetti controller fine now in the close method here I will dispose the controller and to do that confetti controller dot dispose method will be called now what I want is that whenever I will click on this play button at that time the animation will start and to do that in the controller I will create a method name as start confetti animation and inside this method I will write if confetti controller dot state equals to equals to confetti controller state dot playing means if it if the animation is already playing then what I will do is that I will make the value of is playing dot value I will make it as false and I will stop the animation and to stop the animation here I will call confetti controller dot stop sorry stop right and in the else portion means if the animation is not playing then I need to start the animation and to do that here I will write is playing dot value I will make it true and I will start the animation and to start the animation here I will write confetti controller dot play it will start playing the animation right now after that in the home view here in the text widget I will sorry in the home view in this elevated button here I will write some code first of all I will wrap this text with the OBX widget and in this text widget here I will write controller dot is playing dot value if it is true then this means if the animation is playing then the text of the button will be stop else the text of the button will be play right now as a second children of this stack widget here I will take the confetti widget right and in this confetti widget in the confetti controller I have specified the controller which I have created inside the home controller right and in the sudo loop I have written true now let me run the project and let me click on this button okay now on the button click here I need to call the start animation method which I have created inside the home controller so here I will call controller dot start sorry the spelling is wrong in the home controller I need to change it to confetti animation right and the same name here I will copy paste now let me save the project now let me run it now once I run it then you can see once I click on the play button the animation is started the button text is changed to stop and once I click on this stop then the animation is stopped and the button text is again changed to play right now this confetti widget has different properties like it has blast directionality if it is explosive this means it will blast from the all directions if it is zero 
this means it will appear from the right if it is pi this means it will be left if it is pi by 2 this means it is down if it is minus pi by 2 then this will be up next we have emission frequency by default its value is 0.2 i have changed it to value 0 0.8 here i have specified the number of particle by default it is 10 here i have changed it to 20 let me change it to 20 and let me save this and let me change the blast directionality to explosive because by default the blast directional is left now let me save this and let me click once again then you can see let me do a hot restart now let me click here now you can see that the number of particle has increased and the blast direction is all direction right next we have gravity by default its value is 0 0.1 i have changed it to 0 0.8 now let me uncomment this let me restart it once again now let me click here okay now next we have colors in the colors i have specified these colors now let me do a hot restart now if i click here then you can see the colors of the particle has been changed okay if you want you can change the particles path also and to do that here i have used the create particle path property and here i have written this code now let me do a hot restart and let me click here once again then you can see that the path or the shape of the particle has been changed to circle right here we have emission frequency let me uncomment this and let me do a hot restart and let me click once again then you can see that the emission frequency has been increased this is how we can achieve the confetti animation in flutter using getx I hope you have enjoyed my video. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you so much for watching.